This is a demonstration of OnePlan's Portfolio Planning Edition. OnePlan is a modern, cloud-based solution that combines strategic top-down planning with bottoms-up execution. Today, we will be focusing on portfolio-level planning and tracking. OnePlan is built on the Microsoft Office 365 and Power platforms. This demonstration will focus on the use of OnePlan within the incredibly popular Microsoft Teams environment. As you can see here, posts, files, wikis, and other items that you would typically see in a standard team creation are present so that we can have conversations and content uh, regarding uh, our solution. Also notice that OnePlan has been added as a tab here. We can now work with OnePlan within the context of Teams. As I expand to get more real estate and work within a more of a full screen mode, we can look at my portfolio, which provides dynamic interactive views to get different perspectives and analysis of your portfolio. Here in this list view or in this summary, uh, I'm looking at more of a status oriented type of perspective that allows me like a spreadsheet to have an interactive view that not only gives me the information grouped by portfolio, but these initiatives have KPIs that can be modified right here within, this, within the view or even data elements that I can update here, like dates and amounts and things like that as we go through. Uh, we can also look at things from a financial summary perspective. Uh, here's, here's a standard view where people might have cost, budget, forecast, remaining budget, et cetera, and ROI. And once again, these are dynamic in the fact that I can actually update these values. And if I change a value here in, the, uh, in, in a calculation, for example, we may look and see that our ROI would change uh, according to the ability to actually uh, uh, calculate these things on the fly with calculated fields. We can also add fields in here. So if we have other data elements that we want to add, we can add things in here and we can actually have custom fields to whatever degree we'd like to model the way we look at the world uh, and the way we want to look at our portfolios. And we can actually move and uh, organize these views very dynamically by drag and dropping columns. So much like a spreadsheet, but only tied to a robust database with uh, robust calculations, we get very uh, uh, rich capabilities here. We can also look at things from a scheduling summary. As I come through here, I can look and see uh, a timeline and I can look at things by months or by quarters or whatever perspective makes the most sense for me at any given point in time. And not only can I enter data in the fields, but I can use a more graphical means to drag and drop the extending timelines and other things like that within this particular view and look at my portfolio from more of a scheduler timeline oriented perspective. We even have prioritization views and whatever prioritization method you would like to use, we can look at views like this. And in this case, I'm looking at drivers and how well the, uh, we're aligned with these business drivers and have them calculated into a prioritization score. For example, I might go into a particular project and say that the risk is actually now low. And by that determination, it would then update this project and its score accordingly. I can then rank by these scores, and this could be a common way to value and uh, uh, um, prioritize projects within your organization. And then I can actually sort this based upon those prioritization scores from top to bottom to see which ones I should be doing first. If I want to layer on more uh, manual intervention where I force rank some things independent of those scores, and you can have multiple scoring mechanisms in here at the same time, I can go into a full prioritization mode where I can take this and I can take lower priority projects, for example, and put them up more in their prior, uh, proper ranking based upon the score and actually layer in preference and other priorities we have at the executive level or for whatever other purposes, regulatory or others. We could also look at our portfolio from a more of a board perspective, more Kanban-like. Let me go into a view where I'm looking at things by a couple different perspectives. Here I've got them grouped at the top by the different stages of our life cycle. Create, select, plan, manage. I also have lanes here based upon the organizational goals and where these portfolio items or initiatives fit within that. So within our customer satisfaction goal, I noticed I only have one initiative right now in the managed stage, enhanced buying experience. I can also see that it is actually dependent on a uh, initiative that is behind right now called the box three that is dependent on that, that is only in the planning stage as we go on through. As we organize these things and we move things through the stage, we can actually graphically take things and move them from stage to stage, changing the data. Uh, as needed as we go through this and put them into different groupings as we as we see fit. 
Um, I could look at this thing by programs. I could look at whatever it is that I'd like to group these things in a way, in a perspective that we'd like to interact with that and prioritize. We can also look at roadmap views. And if I look at a roadmap, say, for example, by uh, portfolio, here in more product-oriented type of organizations, we might want to look at more roadmap type of views that have swim lanes and uh, timeline-based roadmaps that allow us to look at that from that perspective. This way we have it based on dynamic data rather than drawing these in static PowerPoints and other things that are happening in a lot of organizations today. I could also look at this from a different perspective. And however I'm categorizing my projects is uh, potentially a valid way to look at this. Here I'm looking at it more from a business unit or organizational view. And here I can go and hover over a particular project, get some key data elements on that. Or I can right click on a particular uh, initiative here and go into either edits or comments or model dependencies. But what I'll do right now is I'll actually go into the details of this particular initiative. And here in one plan, it gives me a place to capture things like where these are at in the life cycle stage, data and metadata I'd like to capture around the project, potentially have business case information in here that we use to initially uh, justify starting this project in the first place. And then the prioritization information that we showed you more graphically earlier on and things like the financials in a summary here. And then also things like health uh, for the KPIs and even more narrative based things on the status and accomplishments and things like that that we'd have for more narrative based status uh, within a, uh, 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 a typical execution uh, and reporting mechanism. In these plan details, um, we can also then go through and look at an overall work plan. And in that work plan, we can look at details around that and how we might schedule this out. In this particular case, we're visualizing the work plan details here, but it's based upon native integration that we have with Microsoft Project on the desktop, Microsoft Project Professional. As we can see from the icon here, this project plan is actually linked to a Microsoft Project plan, and its updates are coming from that project plan for uh, a user that is preferring to use Microsoft Project as the source scheduling tool. But the visibility of that schedule is available to anyone who can come into one plan and see what the current version of the news is, including schedule information, who's assigned, the status, percent completes, etc. Um, if you want to look at this from a Microsoft Project perspective, this is actually tied to a uh, Microsoft Project plan. And that Microsoft Project plan doesn't necessarily need to be online, but here it is, the project plan that's here. And as you can see, there's a standard one plan connector that allows you to publish projects out to one plan and receive updates for changes that are made based on that plan in uh, one plan itself. And then we have the concept of status reports in here, a very flexible way to have an onboard native status report that's a natural output of just working within the system. As you can see, the key data elements, and this is completely configurable, it allows you to actually have status reports in here that give me general information, updates, schedule, financials, health, status of that narrative base. And the, the really cool part in here is the fact that you can actually update live in this report. So for example, things like uh, overall health, I can change that uh, right here within the report before I publish it. I can put some narrative base in here in the status report like uh, caught up, on all overdue tasks and deliverables. And then have narrative-based status as well as the objective measures that are coming from the solution, all part of the status report. And then this particular status report can then be put out and distributed in Adobe PDF, in Word, or sent out to email as well uh, as a way to distribute and communicate this information as well as people just being able to come online within one plan and see the report here dynamically. So now, if I minimize this screen again and look up here there's in Teams, I have access to reports. If I come into those reports, we now have a set of Power BI reports that uh, have a native feed from one plan directly to these reports, meaning these reports will self-generate and update just based upon us updating data within the solution. So here I actually have a dashboard that has high level metrics on budget, forecast, and other types of things, as well as being able to communicate a high level dashboard on all the metrics that I wanna look at and do things like drill in to say, what are the projects that are off track? What are the ones that are off uh, at risk? And be able to take a particular focus on that. And there's a number of other reports that we have 
but just be aware that this makes it easy to get those reports uh, on demand whenever you want. All in all, OnePlan's Portfolio Planning Edition provides the tools you need to do strategic top-down planning and then the tracking of the initiatives you choose to execute. In these times of rapid change, OnePlan provides the tools you need to respond quickly and successfully.